For more than a decade, you could find Jonathan Grunberg traveling the world, rock climbing. I'd done trips where I was gone for months at a time rock climbing. It was a big part of my life. That changed in 2015 when he was using his gear at a local gym. My rope broke and I took a 45 foot fall um, to the ground. In those critical moments with a broken back and broken bones, Jonathan made a split second decision. They gave me a choice between Grady and another hospital and uh, I knew that Grady would be the right call. Immediately, the texts and calls started pouring in to his wife's phone. It's just like, of course, of course he's going to Grady. That's where you go when something really bad happens. They were pushing for and trying to figure out how they could get me the best outcome. And that was from, you know, everyone from my surgeons to my nurses to uh, the wonderful woman who came in to clean my room every day. At first, there were discussions about amputation. We kind of said, well, I'd like to keep my legs. Um, so let's see what we can do to that end. And then they set off to try and save my legs and ultimately succeeded. Jonathan was standing within three months, walking within four and a half. And a few months after that, he was on a bike. I turned to cycling after the accident as a way to try and be a physical person again. On May 5th, Jonathan will be riding in the Grady Health Foundation's first ever Velo City Atlanta event which will start on the field of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Jonathan has chosen the 50-mile route. When something happens to you, Grady will never turn you away. But I think what's more compelling is that when something happens to our neighbors or to people who don't have the wherewithal, the financial ability to pay, Grady's there for them too. I think it's really time for us to rally around Grady. It is as much a part of Atlanta as any of the, the big things that we think about. It was an opportunity to do something for Grady, uh, you know, given that they've done so much for us. When Jonathan and Lauren welcomed twins last year, they knew they had the perfect name for their son. You can hear Grady right there. That, that is Grady. Grady and his sister Gabriella were born in December. <laughs> I'm sure we'll uh, drive by and point to them and say this is a, a place where mommy and daddy's life was changed um, and for the better. Um, and maybe you guys wouldn't be here, <laughs> but for our experience at Grady. My friends and family and, and the care I received at Grady, that gave me the courage to, uh, to have kids. We realize that though life is precious, it's not something to be, to be scared of. You know, I think it really empowered us to be parents because ultimately you know there's a community that can rally around you and can care for you. Bello City Atlanta is offering four different rides to support the Grady Health Foundation, including a 5K, 25 mile, 50 mile, and 100 mile route. Yes, they're all coming up on May 5th and get the link to register at wsbtv.com community.